is the day I'm going to replace the window motor on the passenger side of this F-150 Ford pickup truck. I uh, went online and watched a bunch of YouTubers who actually know what they're doing as opposed to me do it. And uh, they explained the process of how to get the door panel off. First of all, the door has to be unlocked. So I guess we can call that step one as I walk around here and get the key. By the way, Charlie locked me out of the truck this morning. I went to pick up uh, that load of insulation right there. And while I was out, he stepped on the door lock button and locked the doors. Luckily, I'd been to the hardware store and already had a spare key made and had it hidden somewhere on the vehicle. So I was able to get into the truck. Bless his little heart. Um, and the interesting thing is that button only works sometimes, the lock button. But I did test the window switch and the wiring to the motor and all that's good. So to get this thing off, you pull this off first. This is a door panel thing you hear. You just pretty much grab it and give it a yank. Let me toss my key over there. Literally. There's normally a screw right here. In this case, somebody else has already taken the screw out. The second thing you do is you grab this part here and give it a yank. Pretty much the same thing. Probably would help if I had a little screwdriver in my hands to pull that off with. There's going to be a second screw here. Then I'm going to take this thing and pop that out. I believe it's an 8 millimeter screw in there that holds that handle. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to pull this thing up and off. One side of this pops up. I think the back side slips under, so I think you get a screwdriver and you pop this up and slip the back side out. You can unplug both these switches. After you do that, you can literally lift up this thing. You can grab it by this handle if you want to. There's a little, little U-shaped clip here that holds this on. You have to also unplug this light, and then you can just sit the door panel on the ground. Underneath that, there's going to be a uh, kind of a rubberized sheet of material to keep dust out. You'll also have to take the speaker out, which I've already done. I believe it's laying back here on the floor. So, with all that said, I'm going to move the camera around, get this door panel off of here. We, that should put us in the neighborhood of where the motor is, which is kind of right down in here somewhere. And uh, I've got a new motor in a container on the other side of the truck, sitting over there. And uh, I'll put that baby in, see if that fixes it. Love y'all. Five sixteenths here. There's a little release pin in the top of each one of these that you could push in and it will let this come out unplug I don't know if it's easier to push the pin down or prize the little piece of plastic underneath it up it's easier to prize up and push down yeah. Awesome. One. Pin here and pin here, pin there, pin there. Now I can see down in there to the screw, and I'm fixing to loosen up. It takes the door handle off. Not going to take it all the way out. It's going to loosen it. It doesn't need to come all the way out. If it does, you probably drop it down in the door, which you don't want to do. 
once it reaches a certain point, you can feel that it's no longer holding the door knob in place. You can just lift your door knob right out like this with the screw still in it. Gotcha. You can tuck these back in here. We've got these two screws loose. I'm going to lock this door just to make this a little easier. First time I did this, I tried prizing this up. I didn't need to do that. I went and watched a video and figured out that it was just defeating the purpose. Now that I got this up, there's a light in here that needs to be unplugged. Basically, turn it, turn it, snip it right out. Little light bulb. 